Okay. Hmm. Are you up? Everybody makan. Had a good lunch. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. All right. Drink more. Drink more. Hey, you bought four bottles, right? Yeah, I bought four. How many? How much per bottle, lah? It's uh, one twenty. <laughs> Fuck! Why you bought four only? Oh. You one twenty. I add four eighty. I cannot win X seventy. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, oh no no no. Pick up, bro. Pick up. Thank you. I am tasked with this. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, uh, Bing and I, we are in the facelifted Porsche Macan. This one is the base model. Priced at 455,000 ringgit, powered by a 2 liter engine making what? 250 something horsepower, right? 252. Oh? 370. What's the transmission? Ah? 7 speed PDK. Okay, that's the that's the Porsche's dual clutch transmission. Alright. And. Um, okay. So, um, as we all know with Porsche, right? When they say. 450,000, 550,000, 650,000. Mm. It's always the base price. And once you once you know once you spec the car up to what we call a respectable level of kit, right? I, when I say respectable, I mean uh enough barang to be presentable at this kind of price range. Mm. You easily look at minimum minimum also 80,000, 90,000, 100,000. So whatever the base price that you see, you easily will end up spending about 100,000 more than what they advertise. Okay, so, but this one, uh, this Macan, besides uh, getting the, you know, all the standard equipment package, uh, Porsche has also taken the, the, the initiative to factor in the what they call the so-called premium package as standard. So uh, the premium package, this is there. What do they have? Uh? Premium package, they have power steering plus, mechanical okay. roll-up sunblind for rear side windows. Okay, okay, okay. Automatically dimming mirrors, park assist front and rear, including reversing camera. Yep. Comfort lighting package. Both surround sound system. Mm -hmm. Apple CarPlay, including Siri voice control, floor mats. I mean, if I mean before before <laughs> you reach floor mats, I also was then mind blown already. I was then mind blown that, that these things are optional. In you know, I was mind blown that there are markets out there that see these things as optional. You know. Wait, so if you don't want the premium package, there are no floor mats. No, no, they they okay. The thing about this is that, uh. For Malaysia, uh. they have already they are specifying this package as standard, okay. and it is part of the four hundred fifty-five thousand ringgit uh. price tag. So here in Malaysia, you don't pay extra for that, okay. but globally, uh, you do. So um, I I remember looking at that paper, right? That mm. package is about twenty over k, right? Yeah, twenty six, about twenty seven thousand. Twenty seven thousand ringgit. Sorry, there's one more. Uh. Powered seats front with memory package, fourteen weight electric. How is it that these things are not standard in yeah, a Porsche we... Macan? Okay. Anyways, so but this car, okay, so this car comes with the premium package as standard. All Macans, the facelifted ones, come with the premium package as standard with all those barang there. Then, um, each car that comes, it's in each individual car that comes, um, it's either the customer will, will take the order themselves. Yeah. Okay. That that means that the. Porsche here, they will send a, uh, an order to the factory mm. and build the car to that standard. Okay. Or uh, the the local office here, they will just look through the thing, and say, okay, I I have this allocation of my can for this car. I'm gonna take this, this, mm. take this, this. this. Mm. So it, it will have a different combination of stuff. Okay. Okay. So this car, I I, I know for a fact has about what seventy eight thousand worth of yeah. options. Options. options that bring the final price of this of it of this car and in this spec as i will show you in the walk around video later to 533000 ringgit right. and that's before on road costs mm -hmm. so what are the things that what are the barang that they put in there 
a lot. Yeah, yeah, ma, metal or... metallic color is 4K. Ah. <laughs> it's Porsche color. Oh, okay, color. okay. Other okay. different. Alright, okay. Air <laughs> suspension, okay, like air suspension. Air suspension, alright. Air suspension, oh, air suspension is 13,000. Okay. Oh, that's alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's alright. Alright. Mm -hmm. 75 liter fuel tank. Okay, that one, yes, I appreciate that. Sport chrono package, including mode switch. I I always thought that. So this one got no mode. I couldn't find this. It, it's it's yeah. here in this in this uh, cockpit of controls, but I haven't found the switch yet. I see. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's see. Okay. Exterior LED main headlights, including Porsche Dynamic Light System Plus. Okay. Porsche entry and drive. Okay. Roof rails in aluminium. Okay. Side window trims in aluminium. Mm -hmm. Okay. For the wheels. It becomes 21 inch sport classic wheels painted in black high gloss. Alright. 18 inch collapsible spare wheel. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's sort of like a, it's a space saver type of spare wheel, one, yes. So, yeah, but you have to pay for that. It means the current Macan doesn't come with any spare wheel, alright? Probably. Okay. Probably. Or it may come with a, 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 maybe a more cha cha kind of spare wheel. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. And for the interior, leather package, two tone with partial leather seat, ionizer, storage package. Oh, the ionizer is useful in our current hazy condition. Right. Yes. Smoking package. <laughs> so you have ionizer and smoking package. So so you smoke you, you smoke ready? <laughs> then you got an ionizer to clean it all up. Nice. <laughs> Instrument dials, garnet red seat belts, garnet. Wait red. wait wait, hang on. How much does it cost? Mm. For the instrument cluster to be red, take a guess. A thousand? Higher? Huh? Higher? <laughs> it's 2,337 ringgit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, seat belts, guarded red. Guess how much? 1,005. <laughs> 2,100. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is different level from us. Oh yeah, very, very, very. <laughs> Compass instrument dial, sport chrono stopwatch instrument dial. That's garden. that's the yeah. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Okay lah, watch I can. Yeah. Piano finish, black interior package. Porsche crest on headrest front seats. Oh, I appreciate this. Ah, uh, this is nice. Yeah, this, this is, is nice. nice. That's that's it. All that's those it. for seventy eight thousand. Yeah, you see the thing the funny thing of, <laughs> yeah, the funny thing is this you know all these pack all these each of these individual items are ah, mm. you look at it you'll be so mind blown huh mm -hmm. I mean yeah. just to color your 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 instrument cluster is 2k but but when is that when you look at it as the whole thing yep. 533 thousand ringgit for a Porsche Macan yeah um that is about well, it's less than double of a BMW X3. A BMW X3 locally assembled costs about 300,000 ringgit. Okay. Uh, a Mercedes GLC. Isn't it a GLC 3? Okay, let's say the GLC Coupe 300, which is which is the same performance price point, but not quite the same mm -hmm. same uh, brand standing segment, right? Yep. That's also close to 400,000 ringgit. So, when you look at it that way, when it pack, when you package all of those things together, yeah. and the fact that most of the people who buy this car, yeah. okay, they would have, they would probably factor it into their their financing and all that. Yeah. So it actually doesn't add too much. It's just that when you look at it, when you look at the itemizing, right? So wow, so X one Yeah. Mm. When, yeah. If you don't, if you. But just when you bundle it all together, correct. then then it sounds okay. Correct. You know the whole, the whole thing package. add together, a yeah. it's pretty reasonable. But when you split it out, then mm. you'll be like quite surprised. And huh? from what and you know from mm. what you what you described just now, right? Some of those things are, uh, uh, I would say, quite indispensable in this segment. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think I can do without the the red dials. I think. Mm. Right. Yeah. But, what? No, but I'm curious, does it only come in red? No, no, no. Each car will have a different set of spec ah, one. Ah. So for this car, it's got red. But I, you know, I've always thought that in Malaysia, Porsche just gives the... They would, the local office, they just... All the cars, they will spec it with Sport Code Chrono Package one. So I think that one is memang... 
um, unless you specifically request for it, yeah. they will spec it with Chrono package regardless. I see. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yes. What question? Mm, no, nothing. That's 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 it with the that, specs. Yeah, that's okay. It with the specs. So those of you guys, if you are buying a McCann, uh, just be mindful that they have different combination of of cars at different with different equipment packages. Uh, you just have to look through what they have and and pick one that best uh, fits your needs. Mm -hmm. Okay. So a lot of um, customization, lah. A lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> okay, so now we're on to the driving and uh, I've just pulled enough G-forces for your hair to touch my hair arm. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. We're going up. Where are we going? We're going Gotong. We're going Gotong to meet up with Bobby. And uh, hey, can can I trouble you to message the can, group? Can. Right, to I'll tell them. So. Yeah. so while being uh, messages the group. Let me just uh, run you through some of my preliminary driving impressions. We are on our way to do a Genting run, so watch out for that video separately. Um, well, thus far in this situation, this the, the Macan here, it just gets along with, with a minimum of fast, no uh, very, very undramatic and it feels, you know, it, it, this car gives you the sensation that um, you, f you you know that it's a Porsche, and it, yet at the same time, the the way the car behaves and all, it is very easy for you to to get familiar with, to get used to it, to get around with this car. So this is a car that where the driving uh, the sens driving sensations go, it is very easy for you to to get accustomed to it. What will take a bit more of a learning curve actually are the controls because uh, as I will show you in the walk around or Bobby will show you in his walk around that um, the center console here, it is just like, you know, uh, uh, what you call it? Uh? It is like sitting in an aeroplane, aeroplane cockpit, right? It's just like one array of buttons, but that has been the standard, you know, Porsche, Porsche um, center console design that, you know, they, they, they give you a kind of a feel where you feel like, sometimes a bit like a pilot like that, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, very technical, right, uh, does look upmarket, but it just takes a bit of getting used to, right, a bit more of a, a lengthier learning curve. So have you found the the the, mode, uh. the mode selections, the drive mode selection switcher? Oh, it's here on the steering. <laughs> so now I switch to sport mode. What are the differences that you? Found? Oh, instantly the uh, the accelerator feels more responsive. And I'm gonna try to to move it to individual mode. Is that like adaptive? Yes, that's adaptive. Sport, that's Sport Plus, but never mind, I'll just keep it at Sport, that should suffice. I'm sure inside here there's a screen that allows you to, uh, you know, sorry, individual mode is not adaptive, individual mode is for you to customize um, whether, how the car, every, because you see, when you do all this driving mode selection, right, yep. the car changes the steering response, throttle response, transmission mapping, engine mapping. Uh, and on cars with uh, adaptive suspension, mm. it also adjusts the uh, adjusts the damper rates. Okay. So usually when I when we, for cars right that I'm not sure whether it has they have adaptive dampers or not. Yep. One way to make sure is I run through the individual settings there, mm -hmm. and I see whether is there a is there an option for me to select adaptive damper mode. So if you can select your your suspension right, yep. it means the car has adaptive dampers. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So those cars with adaptive dampers, you will only be able to to uh, adjust steering because because the if the car is electric power steering, which most cars do these days, yep. engine transmission mm. ah that's it really okay ah. Ah, okay makes sense okay all right 
So now we've put it into sport mode, right? Instantly the car just feels more alive, the engine is more eager. What have been your experiences with the Macan, the previous Macan? Previous one, ah? Yeah. Previous one, so I, it's, I've only driven, uh, I, I've driven the previous Macan once. That was the also the base model, the 2 liter. Okay. Yeah. Well, alright low drives like a Porsche, drives uh, as agile as you would expect of an SUV this size. I mean in terms, if you speak purely in, uh, in mechanical terms, yeah. then the Macan here is, it is the same segment as a Mercedes GLC um, or a BMW X3 um, to a certain extent, even the Volvo XC60. Oh, All right. Okay, so that like but of course, then again, when you turn up in a Porsche versus any of those three fellows, or including the Audi Q5, which actually uh, the Macan shares some under undercarriage components with the Audi Q5. Oh. Yeah. The okay. base platform is the same, but of course, Porsche claims to have uh, have changed a great many things, lah. The engine is definitely from the Audi Q5. Okay, but of course a lot of things are unique to Porsche. Even the 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 interior, for example, def this is definitely unique. The dashboard, yes. uh, the software is I think right, this software, Porsche's software, is the one with the most unique flavor in the Volkswagen group. Because as I scroll through this up, uh, yep. there isn't much in the in the uh, like the touchscreen interface, yeah. that reminds me of what it's like in a Passat. Oh. Even the Bentley, uh, even yeah. that time when we recently when we drove the Bentley Continental, right? Yes. I just fiddle with the with the infotainment. Like, hey, this feels very Volkswagen. Okay. The 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 steering mounted controls. The yeah. quality is different. Yeah. But you touch you the the scheme, the way it's layout. Yeah. Eh, Volkswagen Group, Volkswagen oh, Group. Okay. The Macan, the Porsche, Porsche on the other hand, yes. has actually a more individualistic uh, taste, okay. despite all being in one big happy family. That's good. Yeah. Because they actually put in a lot of effort to make it their own. Yeah, now I mean, of course, we do not know what are the politics like inside, behind the scenes in the Volkswagen Group, lah. But definitely, yeah. definitely, right? Uh, yeah, I think of all the Volkswagen Group cars, Porsche <laughs> is the one that least reminds you of its parent company. Mm. Uh, you see an Audi, right? Yep. Okay, you know, say you drive an Audi and a Passat or Jetta back to back, right? Mm. You sort of like feel that, hey, the, the controls are, there is some, there's a sense of familiarity. Yes. Right, when you jump yes. between a, a yep, Audi, yep. Passat. But with a Porsche, there is a slightly different taste to it, the way. Yes. Okay. Except as Bobby pointed out, the armrest of the Cayenne. You remember the armrest of the Cayenne? It's yeah. like it's I like taken straight from a Passat like that. <laughs> okay, but I think yeah, yeah, Porsche they really they individualize the cars a bit more versus other brands of the Volkswagen group. So kudos to them for that. So yeah, it, now in driving in sport mode, uh, on a highway that is not exactly clear but moving. Um, even here, also, even in this in this uh, condition also, as I'm pottering along at 100 kilometers per hour, less than 2,000 RPM, six gear. The the car just gets along without any fuss. You know, sometimes right, some cars are uh, when you set into sport mode, right? There is that edginess to it uh, that make you feel like very very kicky one. Yeah. You know, when you cannot this one. It is still happy to move along without aging you on, but at the same time, you get that sense, that that tingling sensation under the accelerator that that it's as if as the car is telling you that you know I'm ready to gun it when you are. Okay. That's nice, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it is by all accounts a very you know, polished, very refined product. So yeah, we are on Karak Highway, uh, taking a sweeping bend. Car feels stable. How fast are you going? I don't know whether you want to mention. If you don't want to mention, it's cool. 
That's hundred. <laughs> okay. So yeah, it's it goes, it goes. Okay, now we are talking. So traffic just clears and. Aye, aye, aye. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. So yeah, swept the corner. No fuss. Are you going full throttle? Not even close. What? Not even close. So here you can see that the Macan is a is a very competent highway cruiser that will effortlessly chew the miles. But you know when you are taking on on a highway like Kara where you have a lot of sweeping bends, uh, it gives you the confidence to push your way past the corners where um, not saying that you should go full throttle but it has that stability where you don't need to shave off too much speed as the road winds and the engine has uh, has sufficient torque that you know once once traffic slows down and clears up again uh, it is very very easy for you to build up the speed again okay. yeah does it feel like a heavy car then? No, 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 very light-footed. So, um, I would say that the verdict of this car is that, of this of the Macan, is that it is a very usable day-to-day -day car. Okay, you can buy this car and you can go about your, your daily business. And if you are somebody with a small family, this car does, it's a perfectly good single car for your, for your, for a small family. Okay, good, good, good space. Uh, you know, nice SUV, nicely sized, and if you are a regular long distance traveler, has the performance for you to effortlessly chew up the miles. Yet at the same time, uh, the chassis has that has that talent that makes you know taking on highways like Kara like this a very very um, easy and uh, uncomplicated affair. <laughs> okay, guys. This year's EVO Enduro 2019, we have these teams participating and together with them, you will stand a chance to win a Proton X70, 38,000 ringgit cash. Yes, these are real money over here. And two person gets to win this and another 10 person will be able to win 8,000 ringgit cash. All you need to do is just to buy their products from a minimum spending of five ringgit. To know how to enter, all you need to do is just to WhatsApp your receipt of your product and answer a simple question to this number. To understand further, go to this website to know about all these products and how to enter. Menang, menang, menang! 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 All right. Again, Con? <laughs> Make me do <dollar. laughs>